Watch Played. My name is Luke Smith, and this is... Rodney Smith. Now, sometimes in our series, we make mistakes. Actually, no. You make mistakes. <laughs> okay, usually it's me making the mistakes. That is correct. And we did have a little mistake last episode, but it actually is going to work out pretty good for us, hopefully. Tilda, when she was rolling her defense against the roach, we only had to roll one die, but she has the leather breastplate armor, and that means she should have been able to roll a second die. So we're going to have Luke roll that now, and if we roll a shield, we're going to be able to steal that cheese back from the roach. All right, Luke, we're ready. Oh. Rats. So that roach is keeping the cheese. So the player submission that got the most votes came to us from Agam501. He wants us to have Colin use his give order special ability. Cost one cheese. One cheese. So we're going to spend the cheese and now Colin is able to give up his movement to instead give an action to another mouse that's already on the tile. And he's chosen... Nez. That's right. So Nez is going to take a full hammer swing. At the rat warrior. <laughs> that's right. So we'll bring the camera down. We'll do the die roll. Hopefully, we'll knock this rat into the water. So how many dice are you going to roll for Nez, Luke? Two for his battle value and two for his hammer. Okay. Let's see what you get. Not bad. Wait, cheese. that's pretty good. We got two possible hits, and we also got a cheese. So we're going to add a cheese token to Nez's card. Okay, time for that rat warrior to defend. Two dice. Whew. Phew. Close. So that's... Kind of what we wanted to see. <laughs> one of these attacks is blocked, but the other one gets through, and we've knocked that rat warrior right out into the water, and he's drowned. But we did roll another cheese, and that means... We have to put a cheese on the cheese wheel. And although Colin gave up his movement, he still has an action left, and Agam wants him to attack... The roach. That one right there. All right, Luke, when you're ready, go ahead and roll. Oh, we didn't oh. get any hits. But, but two we... cheese. Two cheese. So we're adding two cheese to Colin, but because we didn't roll any potential hits, the roach doesn't roll any defense dice. Now because Colin heroically surrendered his movement in order to give Nez a chance to defend the group, he did not try to leave the water. And that means he's ending his turn in water, and because there's a current here, that's going to push Colin one space down. Remember, if Colin gets pushed off of the board, he's going to get captured. So that wraps up Colin's turn, and now it is... Magnos' turn. And this submission comes to us from Playmaker... Thomas Funk. Correct! And what he wants to do is try to help the mice get out of the water and get to dry land. So he's going to use his action to do a search. Now a fish I, and hook. That's right, he's going to go fishing for the fish hook and thread. Yeah. Now I had said that when you do a search here, you automatically get the fish hook and thread. But just to be clear, what I meant was you automatically get it if you succeed in your search. So we still have to roll a die and hope that we get a star. So let's do that now. In case you're wondering, there are stars on three different sides of the die, so we have a 50-50 shot here. Go ahead, Luke. And yes! there it is. Oh, that is good. So this means we collect both the fish hook and thread card as well as the token. Now normally we would place this token in the party stash on the story control board, but Thomas wants to use this right away. So we're going to place it here in the tile where they're located, and then the other end we're going to place here on this tile. And then for his movement, he's going to be able to move one space, like so. Now normally you roll a die when you're making movement, but in this situation, because we started on a water space, we're only going to be able to move one space anyway. The benefit of the fish hook and thread is that it treats both this space and this space as if they're adjacent. And it also removes our need to roll a die to see if we're able to escape the water. So thanks to our viewers and our playmaker for helping us with those moves. Our team's starting to get spread out. We've fallen through this grating, we've landed in the water, we're disoriented, we're getting attacked on all sides. So now it's time for Nez and Tilda to jump into the scene here, see if we can help bring some things together. 
It's time for me to take my action with Tilda. I don't know if I mentioned this before or not, but Tilda is my favorite mouse in this set. And this is her card, which we've seen before, but all of the cards on the back have a little write-up, a little story to tell you about the character and how they are connected to the other characters in the game. And I like to think of Tilda as a character who thinks about the safety of others before herself. And right now she's quite concerned with Colin here because he's not only in the water and drifting away from the party, but he's got roaches around him. So she's gonna attack this roach here. Time to roll. One possible hit. So what I need to hope for now is that the roach rolls no shields. I'll roll for the roach. Okay. Nice, no shields. That means that attack succeeded and we're gonna be able to remove this roach. And with my move action, I will cross the water and stop here beside Meganos. So Luke has an interesting choice here, don't you, Luke? Yeah. Because Nez is able to cross the water and attack this rat warrior. Probably you would knock him out, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. But then these two roaches would be free to come over here and attack Colin. So the other option is that Nez could attack one of these roaches and then move across to this space. The only problem is the rat warrior will then be free to attack and he'll attack the highest initiative mouse on this space, which in this case is Meganos. That's right, and he only has one die he can roll for defense. So there's a good chance he could take two wounds. On the other hand, if Nez does come over here and take out the rat warriors, although these roaches will attack Colin, he has three cheese. And remember, for every successful hit, they steal a cheese first. So there's a good chance Colin won't lose any wounds although he might lose all of his cheese. So Luke, what do you think you wanna do for your turn? I'll attack the rat warrior. So Nez, confident that Colin can take care of himself, is gonna move across the fish hook and thread and attack that rat warrior. So again, because we're only moving one space, I didn't bother to roll for movement. But now Luke, you're gonna roll for? Attack. Okay, swing that hammer. Whoa. Wow, that's fantastic. Not only do you have three potential hits, which means we know for sure that the Rat Warriors aren't gonna be able yeah. to beat you, you also get to add another cheese token to Nez. And I will roll the two defense for the Rat Warriors. They only blocked one hit. Now you might say, why do we even bother rolling defense at all since we knew there was no way they could win? Well, the reason we had to roll defense is because there was a chance they might have rolled some cheese and added more cheese to that minion cheese wheel. Which would have been really bad because we only have two more free spaces left on that wheel. And because we removed the last rat warrior from the board, we're now gonna take the rat warriors off the initiative track and move the rest of the cards up to fill in the space. Okay, now it's time for the roaches to have their turn. We're gonna start with this roach. I'm gonna roll one die and we'll see how much movement. Oh, well, there's three. So the closest mouse to them right now is Colin. One, two, and now it's gonna attack. So I'm gonna roll the attack dice here and Luke will roll the defense. Oh, well, no hits, but unfortunately we're adding another cheese, cheese. to the minion cheese wheel. I think I would have preferred if that roach had stolen the cheese rather than put one on our minion cheese wheel. Yeah, me too. And now it's time for this roach's movement, which is one. One. Yes. Well, actually, that's great. So it moves one space and it attacks nothing, <laughs> but it threateningly stares at Colin and the other mice. <laughs> so Luke, how do you feel that we did this time? Good, but Colin, he might get, you know, drained down the water. <laughs> yes, we do have to try to save Colin. I don't know if he'll try to hop out or maybe we can rescue him that fish hook and thread. Well listen, we're gonna end it here and we'll let you guys decide what Colin should do for his turn. And then one of our playmakers will help us decide what to do with Meganos. And then Luke and I will of course take control of Tilda and Nez yes. and try not to screw things up yeah. too badly. <laughs> anyway, as always, if you have any questions at all, leave them below in the YouTube comments. Till next time though, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.